الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن سيدنا محمد عبد الله ورسوله اللهم افتح علينا فتوح العارفين ووفقنا توفيق الصالحين وانفعنا اللهم بالقرآن والذكر الحكيم اللهم علمنا ما ينفعنا وانفعنا بما علمتنا وزدنا من فضلك علما وتعليما يقربنا منك برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم وصلى الله تعالى على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين آمين آمين أما بعد My dear and most respected brothers and sisters and friends I greet you all with the greetings of Islam Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu May the peace and blessings of God Almighty be with each and every one of you and welcome once again to this special program coming to you from the Islamic Forum of Canada where we share with you this message of mercy from God Almighty to all of his creation. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, God Almighty reveals in this Quran, Qul bifadlillahi wa bi rahmatihi fa bithalika fal yafrahu this beautiful ayah from Surah Yunus in the Quran tells us that because of the bounties from God Almighty and because of the mercies from God Almighty, then express your joy and happiness, celebrate the mercies from God Almighty. And this is from the natural way of the human being that if you receive uh, any bounty in your life if you receive mercies from someone if you receive gifts and ni'mah uh, good things in your life then you're happy you become happy and you want to express that joy and happiness because of that and so god almighty is telling us uh, the mercies and bounties you have received in your life, then show this joy and happiness because of that. Ultimately, it comes from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we receive different mercies and blessings and bounties in our life. But the greatest ni'mah, the greatest bounty we can receive in our life is the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Because he is the one who has shown us the way to salvation, to najat, to success in this dunya, in this world, and in the akhirah, the hereafter. And so he has shown us the way to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and how to worship Allah. If we want to pray to Allah, then the way to do so is to follow the example of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. If we want to fast for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the way to do that is to follow the example of the Prophet He showed us the way how to do that. And so it is with every good deed in our lives. It is the Prophet Muhammad who showed us the way. So the greatest ni'mah and ni'matul kubra, as the scholars have said, the greatest ni'mah that you can receive in your life is the Prophet Muhammad And secondly now, the mercy. The greatest mercy you can receive in your life is the rahmah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Because God Almighty, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, reveals in this Quran, وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةً لِلْعَالَمِينَ In Surah Al-Anbiya. And we have not sent you, O Muhammad, except as a mercy 
to all of creation, to the entire universe, not only uh, to uh, the Muslims and the believers, but to all of humanity. And not only to all of humanity, but to all living things. And not only to them, but to all the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةً لِلْعَالَمِينَ So the greatest mercy we can receive from God Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And so God Almighty in Surah Yunus is telling us, قُلْ بِفَضْلِ اللَّهِ وَبِرَحْمَتِهِ فَبِذَلِكَ فَلْيَفْرَهُ هُوَ خَيْرٌ مِمَّا يَجْمَعُونَ Celebrate the mercies and the bounties, the ni'mah and rahmah from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is the secret behind the Mawlid Rasul celebrations and commemorations, the Miladun Nabi celebrations and commemorations. It is a way to give thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for what He has blessed us with through the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I also today in a program as we come to the end of the month of Safar, and today uh, it's the last program for the month of Safar, inshallah. Next week, the program will be the first program for the month of Rabil Awal, this great month we've been waiting for. Now, I mentioned earlier in the month of Safar that there are some great personalities that we remember in the month of Safar. I want to share with you some of them again today. We had mentioned uh, Sayyidah Maimuna, the uh, the Umm al Mu'mineen, the mother of the, uh, sorry, the mother of the believers and the wife of the Prophet. ﷺ. That's her title, Umm al Mu'mineen, the mother of the believers, the spiritual mother of the believers. This is a title that's given to all the wives of the Prophet. ﷺ. They're all spiritual mothers of the believers. So, Sayyidah Maimuna, she passed away in a month of Safar, and so we remember her. Also, a Sayyidah Juwayriyah, radiallahu anha, she was from um, uh, Umm al Mu'mineen, the, uh, from the, the mother of the believers, Sayyidah Juwayriyah bintul Harith. Uh, she passed away in the month of Safar as well. It's a time to remember her. And so, uh, one of the ways to do this is to recite salams upon them. To say, Assalamu alayki, ya Sayyidah Juwayriya, Assalamu alayki, ya Zawja Rasulillahi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Assalamu alayki, ya Umm al Mu'mineen, Assalamu alayki, ya Sayyidah Juwayriya, wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Words in this effect to remember them among the great personalities of uh, to re be remembered in this month of Safar because she passed away. In Therein. And there's a few others that we would uh, tell you about. This is a great time indeed, a time when the excitement is building in these last few days of the month of Safar to welcome the month of Rabil Awal. May Allah subhanahu wa bless us with love for him and love for his beloved Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa Amen. Amen. At the Islamic Forum School, we teach Islamic sciences, Arabic language, and Tajweed training. Classes are available for all age groups. It was narrated that Rasulullah said, A faithful person cannot have enough of teachings that lead to piety, guidance, until it leads him to paradise. It was also narrated, Scholars are the inheritors of the sciences of the prophets of Allah. It was also narrated, words of wisdom are the beloved of the faithful. was narrated that Rasulullah was asked why he fasts Mondays. He said, it was the day I was born. As was narrated in Hadith Qudsi, those whom are engaged in my mentioning 
I am with them, as if I was their companion. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran, Those who mention Allah profusely are given by Allah forgiveness and great reward. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentioned many great virtues of seeking knowledge and the most important aspect of this is to seek knowledge of Islam, knowledge of Deen, knowledge of Allah, knowledge of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam so you can know what to do. The Prophet alayhi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says it is incumbent upon each and every Muslim to seek knowledge of Deen. The Prophet says that those with knowledge, the ulama, are the inheritors of all the prophets of Allah. Such a high status they have with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the act of seeking knowledge is among the greatest acts of worship that we can engage in. And so I invite you to join the educational programs we have at the Islamic Forum for the entire family, for everyone, for all ages. The weekend Islamic school on Saturdays from 10.30 in the morning until 3 p.m. Uh, for children, uh, students from as young as five years old uh, until high school and beyond. We have classes for adults, uh, for parents and grandparents. Anyone can join the programs. We have age-appropriate classes for everyone, inshallah. So bring your children and register them for the Islamic school next Saturday at the Islamic Forum and tell other families that you know to bring their children as well to the Islamic Forum to register them for the weekend. And Islamic school we have at the Islamic Forum every Saturday 10 30 in the morning until 3 p.m. and their classes throughout the week special halakas circles of knowledge and special uh, programs for advanced students uh, we teach many of the sacred texts right now uh, we are teaching uh, the text on adab of talibul ilm the, the adab of seeking knowledge and so on uh, uh, these are the evening programs we have during the week for you, inshallah. Uh, the Maulid program or family program every Saturday starting at 6 p.m. for the entire family. We hope you can join, join us for this wonderful spiritual program. The Juma'ah uh, program every Friday at the Islamic Forum starting at 1 p.m. The time remains the same throughout the year. You hope you can come, as, uh, come to the Islamic Forum for Juma'ah uh, next Friday. Tell others to come as well. Uh, these these are just a few of the many programs we have that would benefit you. We have a special family dinner fundraising program on Saturday the 17th of December uh, to commemorate the occasion of Mawlid the Rasul. Uh, the tickets are $10 each. We hope you can come for that program. Get your tickets as soon as possible. Uh, Saturday 17th of December 6 p.m. at the Islamic Forum. Also we need some sponsor for, th for that program. The shares are $50 each to sponsor the special uh, family dinner on 17th of December. Uh, we hope you can do it. Please uh, go to the Islam Forum website, donation page, and make your donations there of shares, one share of $50 or multiple shares. The more you can donate, the more the blessings from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then the Ahlul Sunnah Council of Canada is having their special Milad program at the Islamic Forum on Saturday, the 3rd of December, 6 p.m. We hope you can join us for that special program uh, at the Islamic Forum. Uh, there are uh, several model lectures we've done already and we continue to do for this season of Rabi al-Awwal. Uh, we were in Trinidad uh, for a series of lectures and I want to thank the Muslims there that hosted us, the brothers and sisters that were very uh, warm and hospitable uh, in hosting the, and organizing the programs we have. Many of them send salams to many of you who are from Trinidad. They mentioned they have family members and friends. Uh, they send your salams to you. We went to Guyana for uh, a lecture tour as well uh, in Burbies, in Demrar, in Essequibo for different programs. Uh, and the, I want to thank the wonderful brothers and sisters there that worked so hard uh, to organize and host the program. They did a great job, uh, both in, in the AFF of Trinidad and the AFF of Guyana, taking the lead in organizing it, and many others that helped out as well. And many of the families I met in Guyana, they send salams to many of you, their families and relatives and friends who 
uh, are living in Canada and elsewhere, they've sent special salams and I convey that special salams to each and every one of you. Uh, this weekend is a special weekend for, uh, I'm, I'm going to the UK, United Kingdom for the special one million salawat event and they would be live streaming. You can go to the Islamic Forum website for further details about that and also to register for the salawat project as well and then coming up would be my lecture tour of several cities in the United States for this season of Milad. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless each and every one of you for your support of the Islamic Forum and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless all of us to commemorate this season of Milad in the best way possible. Ameen. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran, O you who believe, when you hear the call to Jumu'ah, hasten to make the mentioning of Allah. It was narrated that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Friday is the best of days that the sun has risen on. And he also said, there is an hour on the day of Jumu'ah, or Jumu'ah, during which the prayer of a Muslim is answered. It was narrated that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, A hajj that is accepted by Allah cannot be rewarded with less than paradise. It was also narrated, those who visit me in my grave and make salam to me, Allah will return my soul to me so that I can return their salam. It was also narrated, he who makes hedge and during which does not transgress in word or action will be forgiven his sins to become sinless like a newborn. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. I mentioned the, some important personalities of, that we remember in this month of Safar. We mentioned Sayyidah Maimuna, Umm al Mu'mineen, the uh, mother of the believers, uh, one of the wives of the Prophet. ﷺ. We mentioned Sayyidah Juwayriya, another from the Umm al Umahat al Mu'mineen, the mother of the believers, uh, and from the wives of the Prophet. ﷺ. The third personality I want to share with you today, who also passed away in this month of Safar, is Sayyida Ruqayya, the beloved daughter of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And so she passed away in this month of Safar. It's a good time to remember her. Of course, you can, you can do this uh, remembrance at any time throughout the year, uh, but uh, sometimes you're busy with so many other things and uh, in your life and you don't get to uh, do uh, engage in this act of remembrance and so the uh, this is the wisdom behind observing the annual remembrance of these personalities because it's a way to to uh, do this as part of your routine and so in a month of suffer there are specific things you should do which is what I, I, I'm sharing with you that you can you can do this and inshallah you you get closer to these great personalities in, uh, and and these are great women of Islam and especially for the sisters that are watching the program it's an important inspiration for you and for everyone the brothers as well so Asayda Rukhaya this uh, wonderful daughter of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, she had amazing qualities. The Prophet Alaihi Wasallam loved her tremendously. Uh, she passed away in this month of Safar. So uh, the remembrance of her would take the form of conveying uh, or reciting uh, salams upon her, such as say, As-salamu alayki ya Sayyida Ruqayya, As-salamu alayki. 
يا سيد الرقية يا بنت رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم السلام عليك يا سيد الرقية ورحمة الله وبركاته Words in that effect to give uh, salams upon her inshallah in this month of uh, Safar uh, and uh, th these the phrases that I just mentioned, if you don't remember them, then it's on the Sheikh Faisal Facebook page. You should go to the Sheikh Faisal Facebook page and you would find these posts uh, there for this month of Safar. And there are many others. Uh, the time of this program is limited. We can't share with you everything, but much more information is on the Sheikh Faisal Facebook page. And alhamdulillah, recently we reached uh, a, a, an important milestone on the Sheikh Faisal Facebook page in terms of the number of likes. We reached uh, the number of likes is 786,000. 786 oh, wonderful 786 786 the number of likes of the Sheikh Faisal Facebook page so you should be one of them uh, go to the Facebook page and benefit from the post there you'll get all of this information as well and the final personality I want to share with you today uh, from the, the great personalities and there are many of them but I'm just selecting a few is uh, Sultan Salahuddin Al Ayyubi radiallahu anhu this uh, great personality in Islam um, this great defender of the faith, uh, the liberator of Al Quds and Masjid Al Aqsa, uh, he dedicated his life for Islam. Uh, he is buried in in Bilad Sham in Damascus in Syria. Uh, a great personality indeed who did so much for the Ummah and is a great inspiration for us and uh, so we want to remember him because he passed away in this month of Safar. I also uh, today I want to remind you of the signs of love of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We mentioned the first one to emulate the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Secondly to prefer what the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam enjoined upon us and thirdly the one I want to share with you today the new one. Uh, the, our pleasure and displeasure should uh, uh, for people should only be for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not for our own uh, ego and so on uh, pleasure and displeasure for and against people it should only be for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that would guide you in the right way that would mend relationship listen to this beautiful hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Anas ibn Malik said that uh, the messenger of Allah the Prophet Muhammad said to me my son uh, so this is how he would address uh, this young boy young sahaba Anas ibn Malik who served him who was some the khadim of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam my son if you can be without any grudge in your heart against anyone in the morning and in the evening, be like that. If you can remove any grudges from your heart against anyone, be like that. This is what the Prophet Muhammad is telling us to do. Then the Prophet added, my son, this is part of my sunnah. Whoever gives life to my sunnah has loved me. And whoever loves me is with me in the garden of paradise in Jannah. Subhanallah, this hadith is in report by Imam Tirmidhi in his Sunan collection uh, and narrated by Sayyidina Anas ibn Malik, this great companion of the Prophet Sallallahu So wonderful words indeed from the signs of love of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. May Allah bless us to love the Prophet Muhammad. Ameen. <laughs> Help us make this dream a reality. We need your financial support. Please donate generously. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Remember 
our preparation for Rabil Awal. We in the last few days of Safar, the blessed month of Rabil Awal starts on the last day of November, so be mindful about that. Uh, the, uh, the 12th of Rabil Awal would be on the 11th of December, so prepare for that. The important action I want you to be mindful of in terms of your preparation is to be part of the Salawat project and that is for you to recite Salawat in the morning and in the evening at least a hundred times in the morning and a hundred times in the evening Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammadin abdika wa rasulika nabil ummi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallim to say that uh, repeat that a hundred times to, to recite the Salawat and the root on the Prophet a hundred times in the morning after Fajr or before Fajr any time in the morning that's convenient for you and then in the evening after Maghrib after Isha or any time that's convenient for you at least a hundred times if you can do more then the blessings are greater from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala every time you recite Salawat on the Prophet وسلم, your uh, space in Jannah your home in Jannah becomes larger and larger so if you want to expand your home in Jannah and get, have a large home in Jannah a big mansion a beautiful you recite more and more Salawat on the Prophet وسلم. this is from the benefits of Salawat upon him uh, also remember uh, the we have a special website for the Salawat project for you to register to be part of the Salawat project and enter the number of Salawat you are reciting and what you're pledging to do as well the uh, and this the, the website is ummacare.ca so www.ummah.ca go to that website to the Salawat page register to be part of the Salawat project and encourage your relatives and friends to do so as like uh, as well so that they can register and be part of this project because by doing so you'll share the blessings with for everyone that is part of this Salawat project you can do it by yourself uh, and you get your blessings for doing it but I want you to multiply your blessings and by registering as part of the project you're now entering into uh, uh, an activity in Jama'ah in congregation with others who are doing it from so many different countries throughout the world we have millions and millions of salawat that is already being pledged uh, to be recited for the prophet sallallahu by brothers and sisters in so many countries throughout the world you should be part of them so please do so recite your salawat and get your family and relatives and friends to do likewise uh, today as we conclude our program i want to uh, thank all those who donated to the islamic forum we uh, we appreciate your donation uh, we need your donation and we make this appeal for you to make a donation to this so don't uh, we do this every week but don't let it go by without you grabbing hold of this opportunity to donate to the Islamic Forum. so make a generous donation today may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless each and every one of you until we meet again uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu